Both the media and government have taken the new cases of China's bird flu virus very seriously. And while it is something that could be a serious threat, what is the probability it could turn into a pandemic? Here's more. Sixteen people in China have now come down with a new strain of the bird flu virus called H7N9. Countries in the region are taking steps in case of an epidemic, and a wet market in Hong Kong is culling its birds. One public health professor says he isn't too phased about the intense global concern that H7N9 may cause a major outbreak. So one thing we have now is this um, exquisite capacity to be aware of minor things that are happening all over the world and to be aware almost in an instant. Does that make me more worried? No. Does it make it more likely that the apocalypse is, gonna, is about to happen? I don't think so. By Friday afternoon, H7N9 has killed at least six people in China. The virus is not meant to infect humans, but the medical community is worried that the strain may mutate to be transmissible through humans. Chinese state-run media is being scrutinized closely to avoid another SARS-like cover-up that happened 10 years ago. Professor Al Kabis says the media should be covering the outbreak and governments should prepare, but he says the hype around every new flu strain is not helping. And so it's good to be thinking about that and making plans. And the difficult thing is to think about it and have professionals think about it um, and not worry um, excessively. The last avian flu, H5N1, infected a little over 620 people and killed about 370 globally. On average, tens of thousands of people in the U.S. alone die every year from human-transmitted flu viruses. While the cases of infection are sad, al says people have learned from experience how to deal with them and does not expect another global epidemic. Holly Kellum, NTD News.